All right, so today we're going to be installing the CO Project Design uh, hop-up chamber as well as their fixed outer barrel. And this one has threads on it. Um, and then we're also just going to be putting in a new inner barrel and bucking. And this is all from uh, CO Project Design. Um, I, I definitely wanted these two. This I just got just because I wanted to try it out, see, see how it is for what they are suggesting that I do here. Um, now we can go ahead and just sort of get started here. The gun, uh, obviously make sure there's not a magazine in there. And then I would, rec I would recommend you remove the, any uh, muzzle attachment you have right now, because it'll be a little bit harder once you remove the slide. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And these stock threads are kind of annoying because there is so much paint on them. It is, they are disgusting threads. Um, but yeah, now you need to uh, rack the slide to the back. Um, you can just do these indexing points here. Uh, I never do that. I just go all the way to the back and I pull the pin out because that works too. And that's way easier. And then you don't need the lower anymore. You just need the upper. Now the upper, uh, you have to remove the whole recoil system here. And pay attention to how yours is because mine I have completely different setup going on than the stock recoil system. So pay attention to what you have. Um, don't copy what I have. Like the, like in particular this weird thing here. Uh, it's flipped the other direction on the stock configuration. But because I have short strokes I have it flipped around. Um, but we need to remove the outer rail, so basically just push forwards until the nozzle disengages, and then it's like a Glock, you can take the barrel out. Um, if you have seen my video on replacing the bucking, it is much the same way uh, to do this, and I have kind of just dremeled in a little extra divot right there, uh, so I can easily get that pin. That pin is a pain to get out, so I recommend if you're going to be um, taking this apart a bunch, and you want to keep this the stock barrel, uh, put a little divot there so that way you can easily punch it out uh, for maintenance and that sort of thing. Now I'm going to punch this out off camera because I have a different camera set up today and it is not going to withstand any sort of large movements. Okay, and this pin is honestly one of the most annoying things there is uh, that I've ever done. This pin is super dumb. Um, so I definitely recommend you replace the outer rail so you don't have to deal with that stupid pin setup anymore. Um, but with the modification, it was super easy because I could actually hit it. But if you don't modify it, it, you have to go in at like a super angle with like a super tiny punch or a flathead. And it's just it, it just is a pain. Um, and you will see when you do this, if you haven't already done it before. Um, now, we literally do not need any of this for what I'm doing because I am redoing the inner barrel and everything. But it's very simple. You would just want to unscrew the screws here. Um, I'll do this real quick for you. Uh, th this will be if you want to keep your existing inner barrel and stuff. You just undo the screws. And then once the screws are undone, these two halves come apart. And then you have all of your setup. And then uh, this piece comes off this direction. And then you have your bucking and your inner barrel. Um, and then you just transfer this over to the new setup, but I'm, I'm just doing a whole new dealio here. So I don't need any of this old stuff at all. Um, which will be nice. Because we're putting all brand new parts, which is always fun. So we have the hop-up chamber. And this is aluminum, so it is going to be lighter weight than the, the stock one. But the weight doesn't really matter for this because this is not reciprocating. This is a, a stationary weight here. And then this is the upgrade they have specifically for this uh, gun. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm getting here. Uh, I've never tried either of these two products here. Uh, let's 
stupid tape. Okay, I got that out, and it's it's obviously different than stock. It's not just a rebrand, um, but we'll see how this is. This is supposedly a six point zero one, um, whereas this is a who knows what this is. It probably says on the website, but I'm not sure. Um, now let's go ahead. Uh, you just undo these two screws here. Well, if not that screwdriver, that screwdriver is going to just destroy it, I guess. I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, so that was a J1. I definitely had the screws in really tight. I don't, it's kind of annoying, but whatever. Remove this. And then you can see that it's very similar to like what the stock was. It's, it's basically just a high quality of the stock version. Um, but the stock version is already nice. It's already a TDC, which is cool. Like this is the only gun I've seen that comes with it like this out of the box um, as a TDC, which is the superior method of hopping BBs. Um, and I, I think everybody should uh, use TDC. You know, like it, it makes the most sense. Um, but Tokyo Marui doesn't use TDC, so, you know, obviously that's a, that's a thing. And I got some guy's hair, I guess, on there. It's not mine, because I'm blonde. I don't have black hair. All right, let's see here. It looks like that's on there. It's a little bit loose, so that might be something that we need to address, but we'll find out after we put this all the way together. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's let's put it together and then uh, we can uh, uh, have some thoughts after that. Is this all? Yeah, that's all correct. Maybe it's just loose before you put the screws in. And obviously, you're supposed to screw it in first. Hmm. Yeah, because that's still loose. All right, Teflon tape. Um, this is definitely a little bit upsetting. You would assume that if you stick to the same brand, they will be compatible with each other. Um, but that is evidently not the case in this situation, unfortunately. Um, right, so we need to just put some sealing tape on here. And we're just going to go over kind of the entire thing. Oh, actually, we should put this on. So we can make sure that we don't get in the way of that. And then we might as well just seal it up at, at, at the same time. So this will uh, this will fix our issue and it will also make the gun a little bit better as far as not wasting gas doing unnecessary things.
Yep. So it wasn't super far off, but it was far enough that it was not okay. <laughs> okay, and now if we hold it tight. Still moving, so we'll put some more tape on there. Basically just want to make it so that it, it doesn't want to move. Like obviously we'll still be able to move, but we want to make it so that it's um there's no incentive for it to move, basically. So once again, let's uh <laughs> Let's try that and see how that is. Okay, we don't have it lined up exactly. Or we put too much on, one or two. I think that'll be good. That's as much as I can go. Like it, it definitely will not go any farther than that, for sure. Mm, yeah, it's probably a little bit too much. Okay, we're... Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Good thing is it doesn't rotate anymore at all. Uh, let's uh, make sure the bucking is all in there good. If it will. <laughs> I thought this was going to be fast, to be honest with you. I didn't think it was going to take me this long. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten these screws down. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a gap at the top, but I am going to be satisfied with that because it means that the barrel is not gonna be spinning around freely. I think at least. Yeah, that's in there good, that's not moving. Okay. That's good to me. Let's make sure that that's in there tight because I don't want to take this back apart. And it looks like it's all lining up perfect in there. So now we got the new barrel. And this is the part that I am the most excited about because it's not going to be annoying anymore, which is a good thing. And more stupid tape. All right, the ready barrel CL Supermatch. So obviously it's going to be 
a little bit different than the original one, but it's not going to move, which is the good thing. And it's significantly lighter weight, like a lot. Yeah, it looks like it fits good. I don't... It's pretty tight at the front. We'll see how it is. If we need to like put some tape or an O-ring up front, we can do that later. But it seems it seems pretty all right. And how far the inner barrel? I wish the inner barrel would have gone a little bit farther than that, but that is what it is. Now, where is the pin? There we go. Pin, pin, pin. Okay. And I don't have my mallet, so I just got to be a little bit careful. Okay, and then you have to kind of make sure that's lined up, obviously, on the other side, or else it's not going to go through the hole. Um, let's see here. We're going to go a little bit easier. too much is that a good amount basically I'm assuming what you don't want is you you want to make sure the pin stays on both sides of the outer barrel it's gonna wiggle a little bit but obviously you put your pin in and it's gonna hold it pretty secure And I think that'll be fine. Maybe I'll just tap it just a hair more. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty equal. And it is loose, so this might be something I come back later and I make it not loose. But for now, it'll be fine. And I want to see how this is going to operate as it is intended to be. Um, except for that fitment of that... Um, Pop up chamber with the inner barrel that was not good um so we can start putting it back together now so again it's like a glock it looks like that's going to be kind of like so now i will put some lube on here just so that it is a little bit protected and it will be smooth Okay. And I'll put this back in. That looks good there. And then this, I'm afraid of this because this is kind of a pain. And I don't know if this is going to be easier or harder. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if that was easier or harder. Yeah, there. That's all together now. Now we can put this in. I'm not going to shoot BBs through it right now, but I will dry fire it to make sure that obviously it's going to like actually function and cycle or whatever.
Yeah, it seems to be working fine. And that is uh, that is that. I hope that helped you if you needed help with that. Um, this is definitely turning into a gun that I like, um, slowly but surely. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's about that. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, whatever that sort of stuff is. And um, check out their, your uh, your local airsoft shop to see if they have any, uh, any products that you can purchase. I, I believe that uh, the local brick and mortar airsoft shops are the heart and soul of our community. So make sure you try to support them as much as possible. I know these parts I ordered um, from an online website from a different country. Um, but that's just because these parts are not in America, unfortunately, and I wish they were, but that is, um, that is that. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this video was useful for you. And make sure you check out, uh, the link down below, uh, that is a link to our Discord server, and you are welcome to join. All right? Have a nice day.